Hey friends, welcome to Circle Time. I hope you're having a great day. Today is Thursday, it's the last day of our week. Um, and then it's the weekend. So I hope you have a great weekend this weekend too. Um, let's sing our song and get started, okay? Hello, hello, how are you? Hello, hello, how are you? How are you this special day? I'm so glad you're here today. Hello, hello, how are you? I hope you guys, like I said, are doing great. Um, if you haven't been at school much this week or you're doing school at home, um, I miss you and I hope I get to see you soon, okay? Um, let's do our counting, okay? Um, yesterday was the number 12. Do you know what number comes after the number 12? Let's count and see, okay, ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Did you say thirteen? I bet you did. All right, and let's count to thirteen in Spanish too. Ready? Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, siete. Ocho, nueve, diez, once, doce, trece. Good counting. All right. Um, first, before we do our next thing, I want to show you our butterflies. Because since I did our video yesterday, we had not one more butterfly, but three butterflies come out of their cocoon. So for those of you who aren't here at school today, I want you to see this, okay? Teacher Rachel went to go get them some more oranges because they like to drink sweet things. So we're gonna, we put some oranges in the bottom of their habitats here. Over here we have two butterflies that are just kind of hanging out on this lid right here. They're just letting their wings dry out and hanging out there on that lid. And then the other one in this habitat is all the way over here. I don't know if you can see it. Oh, there it is, up there. Over here, we have one that's back here, back here by my finger. It's just right there, hanging out on the side of the mesh. And then one on the side of the cup over here that's hanging out. But this chrysalis right here, the butterfly is still inside there. We're still waiting for him to come out. So hopefully that'll happen soon, right? All right, so when these butterflies come out, they, their wings are wet. So they have to sit here and let their wings dry out a little bit. And sometimes they drip some liquid and it looks, it's red when it drips. So it's not blood, it's just the liquid that's on their wings when they're drying out. Isn't that cool? So um, we got some fresh oranges for them, or we're getting some fresh oranges for them so that they have some fresh, sweet juice to drink over the weekend. And next week, if you are here, um, each class is going to get to let at least one butterfly go out into the wild. Okay, that's what we do. We grow them in our little habitat and then we let them go to be free and fly all over Shelton. <laughs> okay, um, it's so exciting. I love seeing our butterflies come out of their chrysalises and, and get to go free. It's an amazing experience, and I'm glad that some of you are going to get to see that this year. All right, we have been working on the letter. Do you remember what letter it is? What letter is this? G, the letter G. And our poem this week is, When I look around, I see many things that start with G. I see grass and girls galore. I see gloves and so much more. Won't you look around with me and name some things that start with G? 
Have you looked around to see if you could find some things that start with the g, g, g sound? Because the G says g, the G says g. Every letter makes a sound, the G says g. Right. So if you've looked around, I bet you've seen some things that start with G. Um, I have, we have a friend in our class who is here today. His name is Gael. I hope he's watching this right now. His name starts with a G, right? My last name starts with a G. My last name is gray, like the color. And it starts with a G, g, g gray, right? We have some other things that start with G too. Um, the poem talked about grass, but we also have g, grapes. Do you like to eat grapes? I like to eat grapes. G, gorilla, gorilla. Um, and a g, guitar. A g, gate. We have those at the front of the school, don't we? We have a gate um, that you the teachers have to open for you to get in when you come off the bus or when you come, your parents drop you off, right? Yeah. So, um, oops, I dropped that. I'll pick it up later. All right, I wanna read a fun book to you um, about another kind of insect. This is called The 10 Little Ladybugs. And let me tell you a fun fact about ladybugs. Ladybugs have a similar life cycle as um, the butterfly. So both ladybugs and butterflies start out as an egg, then they hatch from their egg and they become um, a larva, which is the caterpillar or um, the ladybug. It looks kind of like a caterpillar, but not really. And then they create a cocoon around themselves or chrysalis and then they come out as something different, a butterfly or a ladybug. So they're both kind of similar, it's kind of cool. All right, this is 10 Little Ladybugs, friends. It's just a fun little book counting book about ladybugs. 10 Little Ladybugs, and it's by M M Melanie Girth. So Melanie wrote the words, and it's illustrated by Lauren Holiska Beeth. And so Lauren drew the pictures. She illustrated it. That means she drew the pictures. Ten little ladybugs sitting on a vine. Along came a butterfly. And then there were... How many are left? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine little ladybugs skipping on a gate. Along came a caterpillar. And then there were eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight little ladybugs looking up at heaven. Along came a bird. And then there was seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, Seven. I hope you're counting along with me when I'm doing that. Seven little ladybugs resting on a stick. Along came a grasshopper. And then there was six. Count with me. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six little ladybugs flying near a hive. Along came a bumblebee. And then there were five. One, two, three, four, five. Five little ladybugs sleeping on the shore. Along came a fish. And then there were, do you know what the number is? Five, four. One, two, three, four. Four little ladybugs. <laughs> climbing up a tree, along came a turtle, and then there were three. One, two, three. Three little ladybugs drinking up the dew, along came a duck, and then there were two. Two little ladybugs basking in the sun, along came a frog, and then there was how many? 
one. One little ladybug sitting all alone. Along came a breeze and she, then she was home. There they all are, all the ladybugs and all the other animals that were in the story, all together. You know what, I wanna count backwards like we did in the story, but just the numbers without reading the stories. Let's do it again. 10, nine, oops, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and zero. All right, good counting, you guys. All right, that's it for Circle Time today. I hope you have a great weekend this weekend, and I will see you guys on Monday, okay? Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. It's time to say goodbye. Bye, you guys.